What's going on guys? So in front of you, you were looking at one absolutely brilliant piece of, you know, just innovative technology. This is the Roborox Q Revo Robot Vacuum and Mop. Now this is not a paid review, this is not a sponsored video, this is actually an anniversary gift that I got my wife. I picked it up off of Amazon, it was about $800. Now I know a lot of people are going to be like, man that is outrageous for a robot vacuum, but believe it or not these things go up to like $2,000 and I think the model above this, uh, if you get the newest version of it, it's like $1,500 and I almost got that one for her because you know it's our anniversary and if she really wanted it I would have gotten it for her. But we ended up getting this one and it's super cool and I really want to test this out in an RV environment as well. So that's going to be another thing that we end up doing. But of course we wanted to try it out in the house first because that's really what it's intended for. But I could absolutely see this being a huge benefit for those of you who RV and you want to keep the floors of your RV really clean. Especially to avoid things like bugs and rodents and things getting into your RV. So let's take a closer look at this thing. Hang tight, I'll be right back. Okay, so first off, we have to talk about the mopping feature because I know that's what a lot of people are probably here to see. Most of the time when you see robot vacuum cleaners, they vacuum. There's nothing super unique about that. And they do, I'm going to say, a reasonably good job. They've gotten a little better over the years, but... You know, they do a reasonable good job of vacuuming. This one introduces an obstacle avoidance system. Basically, it's a reactive obstacle avoidance system. It basically uses structured light to detect potential hazards and avoid them. Now, does it work as well as the higher-end models? No, only because this doesn't have as many sensors as the higher-end models. So if you get like the $1,300 or $1,500 version of this, it's going to detect obstacles and go around them a little bit more effectively than this one does. This one still gets caught up on cords um, more than anything. That's really what we've seen the biggest issue. My, uh, my daughter had left her backpack on the ground and one of the straps got caught in it. Um, phone chargers, things like that, those get caught in it. If you have any cords laying across the ground, those can get caught in it. So don't expect the obstacle avoidance system to be able to, you know, kick in during any of that. But anyways, let's talk mopping. So the mopping system on this vacuum is pretty dang phenomenal. It uses two spinning brushes on the back and it basically fills a little reservoir inside, gets the mop heads wet, and then it lowers them to the ground whenever it's going over tile and then lifts them back up whenever it goes over carpet. So if it hits a rug or if it transitions from tile or solid, you know, wood floors to carpet, the mop heads will actually lift off the ground and stop spinning, which is really cool because it keeps the carpet or rugs from getting wet. So if you use this in an RV and you have carpeting your slide outs, that's a really cool feature. Or shoot, if you just have a rug in the center of maybe the, the rear living area or the center living area of your RV or maybe even in your kitchen. So that's really, really nice. And then the mopping system, once the mop heads get dirty, it actually returns here. It's got two water containers here. This one has fresh water. This one is the dirty water. Basically takes the fresh water, runs it through, gets the mop heads really wet. They spin up against like a, a bristle, plastic bristle that's built into the bottom base, cleans them off really good, rinses them off, suctions it all out and feeds it into this container which is the dirty water container and then when you're done mopping it actually uses a heating system to dry out the mop heads which is super super cool one thing i really like about it too is the mop heads are attached with a magnet so if you need to remove them to clean them or to replace them you simply pop them off put the new head on pop it back on and you're good to go. You don't have to unscrew anything or you don't have to remove anything with tools, which is really, really nice. Uh, the other cool feature this thing has is it self cleans the actual debris bin that's inside of there. So there's a storage bag inside of here. And when this thing returns, when it's done vacuuming, it suctions it all out of the internal waste bin inside of the vacuum into the bag that's inside of this housing or base unit, which is super cool. It's loud for about three or four seconds and then it's done and it's super quick but it sounds like it's suctioning out and if you check it it pretty much completely clears out the entire debris bin on the vacuum itself and puts it into that inner bin so that's really cool again another great feature if you're going to be using this in like an rv or a camper because once it's done it takes all the debris out of the vacuum and moves it to the actual base right here so if you are camping full time or you're on a long trip and you want to try to keep the inside of your RV really clean, this is really one good way of doing it because it's kind of a uh, set it and forget it type environment. It automatically maps the entire area that it, it goes through and it keeps remapping it every time it vacuums. So 
it gets a pretty dang precise picture of what it's vacuuming, and you can see it on your smartphone. You can actually see an entire map of your home that this thing creates. And because it uses this light technology right here for obstacle avoidance, it actually uses that also to map out your house. So even though, let's say it's going down this path right here and around, it doesn't have to follow every edge and then hit every section to map this area. It can literally go right down the center, turn, and go around, and it will map this area. And then as it vacuums day after day after day, it clarifies that map and it makes it more precise. And then once the map is complete, and you have this really detailed map of your home or your RV, you can then cordon off areas that you don't want it to go. So if we don't want it going in the bedroom because we have cords near the bed and it gets caught under there, we can, we can actually prevent it from going to those areas on the app on the phone. So it's really, really intuitive. Um, I'm really happy that we got this one versus the $1,500 one. The only thing I think we would have preferred with the, the higher end one is the better obstacle avoidance system. That's mainly the, uh, the big upgrade I believe you get with that one. Plus, I think that one gets a little bit more suction. But when they tested this one against some of the, the higher end ones, it was about the same. And those of you wondering what the suction power on this compared to others, it's 5,500 PA, which is at the higher end, but not as high as some of the most premium ones you can get out there. So that's just one way of kind of thinking about it. Um, off of one tank of water, uh, the, the first floor of our home is about 2,200 square feet, and it can mop the house about three times on one tank of water. Mop the complete first floor of the house about three times, not including the master bedroom on one tank of water. It comes back to the unit about four or five times during a mopping session, to, uh, to clean it out and to rinse it and to add new water to it too. And I think one of the best attributes about this is how smart it is when you intelligently manage it with the smartphone app. You can set it up for you know extra rinsings. You can set it up to start mopping and stop mopping at a certain time. You can have it do an extended cleaning cycle on the mop heads. You can have it come back more often. Again, you can cordon off different zones of your home. Just a lot of really great features built into the app to control every single detail about how this thing functions whenever you're using it. And you can control it when you're away from your home or your RV, which is really nice. So if you have this installed inside of an RV and you want to turn it on so it starts mopping an area, you can absolutely do that completely remotely from your smartphone no matter where you're at. Yeah, we really love this. We've had this now for over a month and my wife loves it. And she is a clean freak. She has to mop the house all the time. She's the kind of person that will be sitting in her favorite chair, looking down a hallway, thinking this needs to get mopped. And I haven't heard her say that once since we've had this. If she thinks it needs to get mopped for whatever reason, she just opens up the app and starts it mopping. And if you don't wanna open up the app, you can simply press that button right there and it will start the process of mopping. And uh, then whenever it's done, it returns to base, suctions out everything that's in the dust bin or the debris bin, filters out the mops, cleans the mops, dries the mops, and it uh, gets ready for next time. And then when you're done, you simply remove the dirty tank and uh, empty it out. I just cleaned it out. And the mop water that actually gets collected in the dirty tank is pretty dang dirty. So you can definitely tell that it's doing a good job collecting all of that dirt, wringing it out inside of the dirty water bucket and refilling it with uh, fresh water. Anyways, guys, um, I can definitely say we've had this long enough to tell you that it does a great job. It does. We have not used one of these in an RV environment yet, but we are going to because I want to see how well this works in a non-supervised environment, if that makes sense. An environment that we're not always in, but yet we want it to be clean. We want to get the dust off the ground. We want to get any food particles or crumbs, debris, things that can attract rodents. We want to get all that stuff off of the ground. And this right here, I think, is the perfect solution for those of you who have space for it and an RV that this is actually gonna be able to, to transit throughout or move throughout without getting caught up, um, especially if you have a mixture of carpet and linoleum, which is essentially what most RVs have. A lot of them have linoleum only, which again, this would work great, but if you have a mixture of both, this works really well again because it lifts up those mop heads whenever it goes over carpet. Anyways, guys, um, big thumbs up so far. If we have any mechanical issues with it, if we have any breakdowns, any failures, I'll let you guys know. Anyways, I'll put a link in the description if this is something you may be interested in. Again, not a sponsored video. Um, I paid full price for this thing through Amazon and uh, it's been working really well. I honestly can say this robo rocks. 
Guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.